Welcome to the Salisbury Organist mini Easter Egg Recital. I went back to one of my favourite churches on this series to perform for you music which is comforting, joyful, but most of all, relaxing. So, let's start with a piece by a composer who may or may not have said these words. It's easy to play any musical instrument. All you have to do is touch the right key at the right time and the instrument will play itself. Happy Easter and happy 339th birthday, Mr. Johann Sebastian Bach. The piece you just heard was his chorale prelude for Easter. Christ lay in death's dark prison. It was our sin that bound him. This day hath he arisen and sheds new life around him. The melody is an old hymn tune written by Martin Luther in 1524. This week, I was invited back to the beautiful Victorian church of St. Mary's in Lover. It's actually in the parish of Redlinch, but the church itself is in the village next door, Lover. The organ had been freshly tuned, and I came back to give a mini recital there for Easter. All the while, the organist, Valerie, was sat at the back of the church, unseen on the camera, next to the radiator, with a cup of tea, listening. She first started playing there, aged 18, for just a couple of weeks to stand in. And she ended up staying there for more than half a century, which is an amazing service to this church. In fact, after I'd finished playing, she gave me this collection of homemade chutneys. So we have apple chutney, mango chutney, and red tomato and roasted pepper chutney. So the famous Salisbury organist cheese and pickle sandwich will now be replaced and refined to become the cheese and chutney sandwich.
Thine be the glory, risen conquering sun. Music by George Frederick Handel, who was a master of word painting. Did you notice that every time the word risen is sung, it's set to a rising scale? Very clever. He was a master of that kind of writing. He was also a genius with emotion. There aren't many pieces of music which are slow, but simultaneously optimistic and very calming. We often associate slow music with being mournful or solemn, but Handel wrote beautifully cheerful, soft music, and one such piece, which I always play as a prelude to Easter services, is his Largo from Xerxes. It's also great for weddings, so it's very apt that I should play it in England's most romantic village.
The Beautifully Serene Largo by George Frederick Handel. From Germany, we now turn to France. Just as slow music doesn't have to be solemn, music in minor keys doesn't have to be angry. This is a hymn tune which is one of my all-time favourites. It's based on an ancient French melody, which sets the text by Reverend John Crumb, now the green blade riseth. Crumb was educated at Eton College and then at New College in Oxford, and just listen to the amazingly beautiful last verse. When our hearts are wintry, grieving or in pain, thy touch can call us back to life again. Fields of our hearts that dead and bare have been, love is come again like wheat that springeth green. timeless French carol for Easter, now the green blade riseth. To conclude this miniature recital at St Mary's Lover, I thought I would play a piece which is brand new, but which all of you will probably recognise because it's the theme music for this channel. I wrote this piece last year. It's probably the first piece of music I really wrote seriously, 
and it's called Postlude for Mechanical Action. A postlude is a piece of music played at the end of a service, and mechanical action is what separates the organs I play on this channel from all of the big English cathedral organs. In cathedrals, there is an electric action to the console, so it's very smooth, silent, and much easier to play, whereas these village churches have organs with mechanical action. That means that playing the key is linked directly to the action that puts wind into the pipes. In other words, it makes a clatter. People often see the noisy clattering as a hindrance to the music, but to me, it is part of the music. It creates some amazing percussive effects, and I wrote this piece, Postlude for Mechanical Action, deliberately to make the most of that clattering that you hear when a village church organ is played.
Postlude for Mechanical Action by Ben Mayton. As well as those delicious chutneys, Valerie also gave me a card when I came to visit St. Mary's. And it says this. Thank you for your visits to St. Mary's. It's wonderful that our church and organ is being shared with so many people around the world. So that means you. So thank you so much for all your support and your comments and for watching my videos. It's been a joy to make them and I cannot wait to bring you the next one, which includes a special guest. I'm on holiday next week, but I'll be working all this week to put that video together for you. So all that's left for me to say is I wish you a fulfilling, restful and cheerful Easter.